we're going to start by opening up our Chrome browser. So you can see here I've got my Chrome browser all set and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and type sheets.google.com, not sheet.google.com. That's not going to take me to the right place. It's got to be sheets.google.com. When we hit enter, that's going to take us into the Google Sheets interface. And you'll notice I've got lots of spreadsheets I've already created. When you come in here, it might be empty. You might also have an option to select from some templates at the top. It's on the internet. Things change sometimes gradually, sometimes very quickly. So you kind of have to get used to navigating a little bit. Now, I have lots of spreadsheets that I've already worked on here, but if I want to create a new spreadsheet, there are a couple of ways I can do that. The easiest way is to just click this button down here at the bottom that says Create New Spreadsheet. Before I do that, you do have the ability to search. You can just go ahead and search for your Google Sheets. You can use your pull-out menu to the left, and you can create docs and sheets and slides and all sorts of things, but those are kind of out of scope for this class. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at a new spreadsheet. So I'm going to click this new spreadsheet button, and here we go. We have an untitled spreadsheet. I'm going to start off by changing the name of this spreadsheet. So I'm going to double click or single click the, uh, the name here, and I'm going to call this my first spreadsheet for this fun course. And I hit enter. Notice as soon as I do that, it's going to tell me it's saving and all changes are saved in Google Drive. So now if I come back into sheets.google.com, in fact, we can go ahead and try that, sheets.google.com. You'll see now that I have in my list my first spreadsheet for this fun course. Now I can change the view of this so I can get a nice little preview and you can see my first spreadsheet for this fun course and now I, I have this nice spreadsheet that I can start entering data and information into. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead into cell A1 and I can just go ahead and type say a number. We'll type 5. Now notice when I type 5 that shows up on the right side and that's because it's automatically formatting this as a number. If I were to type say the, the word 5 notice that is on the left side and that's because I tend to, or Google Sheets will automatically format things and left align my text. Now I can change that. I can come back into my formatting up at the top and I can click this and select right align. So there you go. Now that's on the right. But now it's kind of weird because we're going to get very used to seeing text on the left and numbers on the right. So I can change this and move that back to the left. Now there's a very good reason why we put numbers on the right. And that's because if I have a couple of different values, say 5, 10, 15, and 20, you'll notice they all kind of line up so that the ones digit is always on the right side and it just makes things a little bit more natural. When we learn math, we tend to do or put our numbers in the same way. So it makes it very simple to kind of identify where the numbers are. Now we can change the formatting of our numbers. I can format a number as a currency and you can see now that's a five. It's five dollars. It's kind of exciting. I just made my five into five dollars. If we could do that in real life, we'd I'll be very rich, but then the economy would fall out. It would be a disaster. Let's not go down that path. I can also change that to a percentage, and you can see 10 is going to be 1,000% because 1 is really 100%. So when we change that to a percentage, our 10 is changed to 1,000%. So I could make this 100% by typing that in now. And now that I've formatted this as a percentage, Google Sheets know that I intend for this to be a percentage. If I change this back to a number, you'll see now it's 1. 1.00, but it's still just 1. If I want to change the number of decimal points that are, uh, that, are, that are displayed here, I can decrease this by clicking the button on the left, and I can increase it by clicking the button on the right. And that works for currencies as well. If I click the currency and I make this, you know, so maybe we're not, maybe they're not American dollars, maybe there are, are tenths of a cent or hundredths of a cent that we need to be concerned about, we can do that as well. We can also do that with percentages if I make this a percentage, and I can make that a nice tidy 100%. Uh, so very easy to change the numeric formatting of numbers. If I have a large number, you know, like we did in our, our last set of uh, our last video here, if we have a number like one million, you can see that that will show up automatically as a normal number. But I can also change the number. So if I or change the format. So if I click that that menu here, I can go ahead and select a number format that looks a little bit more natural. You know, like something like. Uh, We'll go ahead and say number, and you can see now this has changed and added my commas automatically. I can also type this in with commas, so I could type in 5 million with commas, and you'll notice, like we pointed out, we've got the formula bar, which is telling us what our actual value is, 
but it's nice and easy to read this way. So you can use this to present your data in a way that is a little bit easier for people to understand. Now, I can also format the, the view or the way my data looks. You know, if I want to say this it should be bold, I can click this bold button here, and that makes that a nice bold. Maybe I don't maybe want to make it bigger so I can change the font as well. Now we have a nice big five there. And if I want to say make this one smaller, we can change the font. Maybe we don't even want it to be Arial. Maybe we want it to be something fun like uh you know, I like this press start font. You might not have that installed, but I think it's super fun. We could use uh Calibri. There we go. So now we're just changing the font there and we could make it italicized. So we can use these buttons at the top to very easily and quickly format our data in a way that might make sense. Uh, we can also use shortcuts. So you can see here, I'm on a Mac right now, but if you're on a Windows machine, it'll, it'll tell you the shortcut for the Windows machine. It should be Control I, but I can just hit one of these values and I can hit Command B on the Mac or Control I on Windows. And if I hit both of those, you can see that's bold and italic. And if I do the same thing again, it changes it. So very easy to change the text formatting of your values. I can also change what color they show up as. So let's make our, we can make a, a nice dark green here for uh, our money. We can say, all right, big money there. It's a nice green. And you can select different colors just by selecting this, this text color button. And you can see we've got an arrange, a range of black and white grayscale values as well as lots of other pretty colors. And we can even pick our own custom colors. You know, I can select a color from this grid and I can make it nice and light. There we, there we go, light. And I can make it dark and I can do a lot of really fun stuff there. We can also use conditional formatting. We'll get into that a lot later. That's That's a little bit more complicated. We can also change the background color so you know now that we've used a nice green for our background we could change our background color to a, a, a lighter gray depending on what we want to do so this isn't so useful when we're just entering values but if I had you know a student here let's go ahead and put this at the top if I had a student name and I had a grade or I could say you know for Sam the grade is 85 percent now and I could say for Joe the grade is say maybe Joe's not quite as good of a student it's 72 percent uh, but now I can kind of format this as a table one of the things I might want to do is make the heading bold and maybe I want to put a, a background maybe I want to put a nice dark background we'll say like a dark uh, I'll do like a, this magenta and you know now I can't really see the text so maybe I want to change that to a, a white so there we go. Now I've got this nice, you know, this nice top. And it looks good. And maybe, you know, maybe I want to change the formatting here as well. Maybe I want to make that bigger or smaller. Maybe I want to make my header. But you can see now how this is allowing me to present my data a little bit more effectively. I can also add borders. So, you know, maybe I want to add a nice border here. Uh, we can create borders all around all of our cells. So all we have to do is select all of this data and create a border or maybe a border around everything or maybe we want to uh, border around nothing you know we've got these different options so we can do the complete border the inside border just the uh, the horizontal borders just the vertical borders an outside border and then we can do the the left side the top side the right side the bottom side or no border and then you've also got options on style and color so you know for something like this let's say we want to just create a border underneath our heading we could go ahead and create click the border We'll select that button. We'll make it say, oh, we'll make it something uh, a little gaudy like this, this bright yellow, and we'll make it bigger. So now you can see there's this yellow border underneath student and grade, which just again helps to call things out. Now, I can also do things like maybe we want to make the row a little bit bigger. We can go ahead and select on the left side, grab that row, make it nice and big, and now you can see this automatically aligns to the bottom, but maybe we want to make that aligned in the center of the cell we can click this vertical alignment and make that the center and you know you can do other things like if I have really like maybe I have a notes column here well now I, I've kind of introduced a problem because I've got this notes column which is oh it's, it looks ugly compared to these other columns but fortunately there's a nice easy way to copy formatting I have this format copy I can just hit that button once and then I can paste that same format over to the notes column now if I want to enter some note you know Sam d did a great job with the analytical reasoning aspects of you know whatever we're gonna 
whatever we're going to say here. Now, you can see here that this is moving all the way out into all of these other cells, and that's because text just kind of wraps around. And If I put something here, like if I just put a nice X, well, now I can't even see that anymore. So I might want to change the formatting a little bit further. But fortunately, I can wrap that. So I've got the ability to overflow, wrap, or just stop at the end. If I clip that, what that's going to do is it's just not going to flow into another cell. But if I make it wrap, there we go. Oh, that's good. But now there's some other weirdness because this is taking up a lot of space. And this is not really, you know, maybe I want this aligned at the top. Fortunately, I can select this and I can align my text uh, toward the top just by selecting that vertical format. Or maybe I want everything center aligned here as well. You've got options and you know you're gonna have to sometimes play with it to see what works the best for your particular data. Now we've got some you know we can even do crazy things like we can make you know this uh, angle uh, text but oh, that that, that kind of makes me uncomfortable. We're gonna we will we'll go back there. But we've got lots of options for formatting our data and for entering data. Uh, we'll continue with this. We'll continue with some of the basic things that we can do with a spreadsheet. Uh, but for now. Take a look, play around, see what you can do to format spreadsheets. It's a good, you know, it's good to kind of get into it and try a few different things to to feel out what you can actually do and you know the kind of the kind of information you can enter and the kind of formatting you can do in your spreadsheet. Thanks for watching and we'll continue in the next video.